Hello people out on your internet receivers. I wanted to tackle for a long time the Mackey Control Universal Protocol because it's used by a lot of devices out on the market, even if it's a little bit dated, but still it's very important to support this MCU protocol. And there is already an implementation coming with Bitwig, but it's a little bit dated, not using the latest API, so I was interested in improving that. As I said, a lot of devices support this protocol, but all on a different level. So there is the Mackie original device itself, but you get a lot of devices which also support it. For example, you get now the very new Icon Qcon Pro X or more limited devices which have only faders or like my very trusty Zoom R60 provide faders, but not motorized ones and only have some navigation controls, but not all those other buttons you find in the original Mackie. So I was also thinking in doing a lot of configuration possibilities so you can tweak the protocol to your needs of your device. The whole script is coming with my driven by MOS implementation and which is documented on the wiki of the GitHub repository and there you find all the specific descriptions what the script can do which I will or we might forget to tell you in this little video. What you need to note is there is for each function you see the name of the knob, but this might not be the name of the knob you have on your device. So this is more to see as the name of the feature you like to execute. And in the brackets you see what the name on the original MCU protocol device is meant. So you might have the one to rewind and this is the name you rewind. Example for something different. For example, we have a function punch in for Bitwig, which is not on the device. So uh, on the device I use F6 for that. So if you press the F6 button on your protocol robotic device, if you have one, it it will execute punch in. So going into Bitwig, first you need to do is configure the device. Because there are so many different devices who support the protocol, it's not possible to have an automatic detection of the device because all the MIDI ports have completely different names, even the Mackeys one themselves because they code the, the version number in it. So this is not possible. So what you need to do is after you have installed the driven by MOS extension, click on add controller manually and there under Mackie you will find the control universal this is I think outside here of my screen let's move it here again Mackie and add the control universal MCU for Bitwig by Jürgen Moss this is uh, the one coming with Bitwig directly and this is the new version done by me if you add that all you need to do is to pick your input and output. So here with the original one, the latest drivers here are the MCU Pro USB version 3.1. And same we select for the output. Then you have a lot of options here you can set up. So the first one is to tweak this extension to your liking and the needs of your device. I also put some profiles in so you don't have to choose them. So if you have one of these devices, you can simply select it and the settings will be accordingly. But even if it's not there, you can set that. You can say, okay, does it have a display? Yes or no. Um, a second display is a very specific extension I will talk later about of the Icon Kukom Pro X. Has it a position tempo display? Has it an assignment display? So what is the current mode you are in? Does it have motor faders? And do you want to have the track names in the first display or not? And do you have VU meters? And if you don't have this option, there's no need to have this performance thing uh, to send those data if the device doesn't support it. So you can simply turn it off. Then you have other features. There are the five function buttons. The other function buttons are used for fixed features. So you can say what you want these functions to do, for example, like undo, select panel settings and these things. So this is up to your liking and your configuration. 
Then you have further stuff, you know, from my other scripts, you can say how the transport behavior is, what the quantize amount is. You can set uh, the lengths for new clips and you can configure the browser, what kind of filters you like to see or all of them. So that's it about the configurations. If you close it and let's open a song which has some more tracks in it so you see some movement.